My name is Edwin Novitsky. Hi, my name is David Wood. And we are the, the Renewable, Renewable Boys. Boys. Dave is my mentor and has experience with wind turbines in Kenya and Nepal. And last month he was teaching renewable energy in Ethiopia. Ed and his grad student team work on power converters for renewable resources, so our research interests complement each other very well. So what are you up to, David? I've just been looking at this document that our colleague Peter Freer from World Vision has sent us about his work in Nepal. Thank you, David, for contacting Peter, who was able to tell us about the situation in Nepal. Yes, if a microhydro system were installed in a village, a Nepalese home could have electricity for LED lighting, a boiling water cooker and other needs. By eliminating kerosene lamps and open fires, there may be a reduction in the staggering rate of respiratory diseases found in Nepal. How else could our project help? Social development agencies are beginning to realise the value of a holistic approach, including local people having ownership for a project. This approach underlies a need to work on respiratory, stomach, skin and malnutrition issues. I have a question for you, Ed. What is different about our project? Well, first, the holistic approach is ingrained into our project. Also, Peter, uh, Peter and I are considering an approach that would be able to regulate power quality and at the same time send excess power to a home to help with hot water and perhaps help with sanitation issues. The result would be an increase in the manufacturing base in a country, um, incre improved health benefits, uh, a, a uh, ownership by a local group of their own hydro business and we get to work on a fun project. Um, I'm excited to see David where this project might lead throughout the developing world. And so am I Ed. Thanks, Thanks for listening. For listening.